This is an American convenience store. And this is a Japanese convenience store. Whether it be a quick break from work, a staple of your daily commute, or simply a pit stop, everyone watching this video has most likely been to one. But how different convenience stores really be? Well, that's what we're here to find out today, as we take a look into convenience stores in America and Japan. Here's a quick look at some American convenience store staples. And here are some Japanese ones. But before we do some direct comparisons, let's do a general overview. A convenience store, as defined by Statista, is a small retail business that stocks a range of everyday items such as snack foods, soft drinks, groceries, confectionery, tobacco products, over-the-counter drugs, toiletries, newspapers, and magazines. As of 2022, there are over 150,000 convenience stores in the United States, with sales of over $650 billion. Although there are many independent stores and smaller chains, 7-Eleven is the undisputed king in the U.S., with 9,519 stores as of January of 2021. As you can see, I'm not standing in front of a 7-Eleven. Sadly, I'm not near one at the moment. But lucky for you, I got permission to record at one. And with that permission, I took a full inventory. There are many different kinds of food at a 7-Eleven. So in order to have some semblance of structure, I decided to modify and use major food groups as defined by America's Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee. The categories I chose cover most major food groups and types of food you would find at a convenience store. Given that I wasn't given a physical inventory, I had to be a little creative when getting my data. Instead of counting every item individually, I took a standard shelf from the store and used that as my counting unit. So one shelf of items would be counted as one unit. For items that weren't in a standardized shelf, I had to make approximations. So is this data perfect? No. But will it help paint a better picture of American and Japanese convenience stores? I don't know. Hopefully. And with that out of the way, the American 7-Eleven I went to broke down as follows. The first thing you might notice is how more than 50% of the food sold consist of sweetened beverages, candies, and savory snacks, aka junk food. And not just any junk food, highly processed, empty calorie, American junk food. The only really healthy food I could find would probably be some sandwiches, which would fall into the mixed food category. And the majority of the fruit I found was in a small basket in the corner of the store. In terms of protein, the vast majority of it comes from the large jerky section at the store. To many Americans, these results aren't probably too shocking, but actually confirming that only 0.8% of the store contains a category as large as fruits and vegetables is quite eye-opening. I should note that the water and sweetened beverages percentages are a little bit skewed. These were some of the only items that were provided in large bulk packaging. It makes sense as American convenience stores serve as rest stops for many truckers, but still. Ultimately, it is clear that you aren't coming to this convenience store for a healthy meal, nor for grocery shopping, more so just a quick snack. Now let's check out Japan. As of 2022, there are 56,936 convenience stores in Japan. Similar to the US, 7-Eleven is the convenience store king, over doubling US numbers with a crazy 21,031 stores. Unlike the US though, there are other notable competitors, with Family Mart and Lawson coming in second and third place respectively. Using the same process as before, Japan's 7-Eleven looks as follows. Now right off the bat, it is clear that this isn't the healthiest place in the world, but there are a lot of notable differences for the better as compared to the American 7-Eleven. For starters, mixed foods is the largest category at 16.7%. Mixed foods primarily refers to pre-made meals such as steak, chicken, and pork with rice, or a stir-fry type dish. Granted, some of these options are pretty sodium dense and carb heavy, but at the very least, you are getting actual meals, and you still have some healthy options available, such as natto, refrigerated fish, tofu, and eggs. There are also considerably more bread, pasta, and rice options available, which once again, although not necessarily the healthiest, at least allow for some complete meals. Fruits and vegetables, at 4.9%, is also notably higher than in America. Aside from salads, which there are plenty, there are also plenty of refrigerated individual fruits and vegetables, such as bananas and cucumbers. One thing that surprised me was a shockingly few number of sweetened beverages, such as sodas present, with them only comprising 1.6% of the inventory, compared to 25.1% of America. I should further mention that the majority of these sweetened beverages were fruit-based, with only a tiny section being dedicated to soda. Is this offset by the giant alcohol section? Maybe, but hey, at least they actually carry some wine, as well as some higher quality options. Given how many pre-made meals are available, it is clear that convenience stores serve a big role as a quick option for food, but at the same time, they actually provide substantial healthy options. But what is the food really like?
Takis. That's a Mexican uh, uh, taco. But uh, it is extremely common in the US. It's a very hot chili pepper based uh, like snack. Salty, like a back of the tongue burn from the chili peppers, as well as like lime coming through. Uh, and then it's all in really high like amounts. <clears throat> I prefer hot Cheetos, but I think Takis are still pretty good. So I give my shout out to those. Give it a try if you come to the US. Sour Patch Kids. And initially it's like very sour and then it gets sweet. And this is says extremes. So I'm actually thinking, is this gonna be very sour? We'll see. Mm. There's some crazy ones in the US called Warheads, which completely mm. kill you. <laughs> they're supposed to look like kids on the front, but uh, they're like, all the commercials of them show very like, deviant kids uh, like destroying property and stuff. I haven't seen a commercial for them in a while, but I don't watch TV, so. Yeah, this is definitely a favorite. Sunflower seeds. This is like most well known, like when I play baseball, I already played baseball, you get uh, some sunflower seeds. They get stuck in your teeth. They get stuck in between your gums. They stab you. But at the same time, at, during baseball, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a good deal. It's a, it's a value. It's a, it's a, you're not actually really getting full or anything, but having a good time by mm -hmm. sunflower seeds. Twinkies. They're basically, well, as it says, sponge cakes with cream filled, like white cream filled inside of them. Here we go. I don't hate it, but literally almost even after the first bite, I already feel overwhelmed. My <laughs> taste buds do. But at the same time, it still makes you want to eat, a, take another bite. Ah, uh, yeah. So, it's Arizona tea. Arizona tea is awesome. Yeah. And it has one fun fact. Please tell me it's written on here. Yeah, so it says 99 cents. I'm not sure you can see it. They had never changed their price from its initial price point, even though they've been running for, I think, like decades. But yeah, so actually great uh, product. And so I'm excited. Ooh, that's satisfying. Oh. It's like a beer. Yeah, this is banger. This, this unironically is just great. Hi, onigiri. Minna no segi. Matsu ne, koko ni tejun kaite aru kedo. Mannaka o hikimasu. De sono ato haji dochi kara demo inde kedo. Ja, kore hidari kara. Koyette, ah, boro boro ni natteru. De koyette ori tatamu kan. Koyette. うん。うん、やっぱり。ま、個人的にはセブンが一番好き。はい、これはあの肉まんです。パンっぽい生地の中にお肉が入ってるんだけど、あったかく売ってあって、で、そこからお店員さんが取ってくれるんだけど、ま
大好き大好きな納豆さん、まあ、まずこれパックがあって開きますとでタレとからしがついてますこうやって混ぜますあーもう完璧うんいただきますちょっと酸っぱい感じのね匂いかもねなんでかっていうとフェーメントしてるからわかんない食べ慣れてるから全然さ臭いとは思わないんだよ The types of food aren't the only difference between them there is also size and by food I mean drinks Because there are no amount of words that could describe the difference between portion sizes better than comparing the US and Japan 7 Eleven drink sizes. In Japan, there are two sizes regular and large, 6 and 10.5 ounces respectively, two clear cups and two coffee cups. Now in America, they have a small and a large for Slurpees, a small, medium, large, and extra large for sodas and coffee, and a medium, large, extra large, and double extra large for, well, anything really. Also, you heard that right. This series of cups doesn't come in small. Now, the fair thing to do would be to compare the regular cups of America to Japan, but that is boring. So instead, let's compare the regular to the medium little big gulp, the large to the large big gulp, and the large to the double extra large double big gulp. Let's go. First up, regular versus medium. Next, Large versus large. And finally, large versus double extra large. Notably, the double big gulp is twice the size of an average human stomach. Eating is not the only thing you can do at a convenience store. Japan's convenience stores have a little bit of everything. Let's go check one out. Ah, もしもし、あの、今、日本とアメリカの,そのコンビニの比較の動画を撮りたいんですが、それが可能かどうかお伺いしたいです。あ、もしもし、あ、はい、あの、動画を撮りたいんですけど、はい。あ、あの、お伺いしたいんですけど、もしもし、もしもし、あ、そうなんですね。あ、そうなんですね。あ、ダメなんですよ、ね。失礼します。失礼します。失礼します。失礼しますもういいや、もう、もういいです。はい。もういいです。諦めます。ああ。Looks like we can film at 7 Eleven, more Family Mart, more Lawson. So we have to film this outside. Convenience stores in Japan are central hubs for most anything you would want or need to do on a day to day basis. Obviously, you can buy food, snacks, and meals, but that's just the beginning. If you're tight on cash and you need to withdraw some money, You can do that at a convenience store ADM. This isn't all too unusual though, as many convenience stores in the US have the same service. So let's get a little bit more unusual. You like sports? Music? Sumo wrestling? Well, you can buy tickets to go enjoy all of these different activities at a convenience store. Simply go to one of the ticket machines and search your way. Very, for example, one to all of the above. And once you have your tickets, f e e free to print them out right away, as Japanese convenience stores also have copy, print, and fax machines. Although these machines can print your tickets out, they're not exclusively there for that purpose. As much as convenience stores cater to entertainment, they also have some very useful practical services. This is a faucet, and this is a light switch. What do these two things share in common? You can pay for both of them at your local convenience store. That is right, you can pay for utilities at a convenience store. In fact, you can handle many public services in convenience stores. In addition to utilities, you can also issue your certificate of residence at a convenience store, something which you would normally have to go to a government office to perform. 
But who cares about utilities and the residents? You only need them to live. The real question is, can you buy a Lego superheroes Batmobile set at a convenience store? Why yes, yes we can. Because if you can find it online, you can also buy it through your local convenience store. This is especially useful when you don't have a credit card or don't want to mess with one. Simply order what you like online and then go in person to pay for it. I personally use this feature all the time. If you want to buy stamps or postcards, you can do it. If filling out shipping labels is too difficult, convenience store employees can do that for you. But we still have a problem here. Sure, they will prepare you with packages, but you still have to do the hard work of figuring out what you want to send. We'll worry no longer, as Japanese convenience stores also have gift catalogs that you can directly buy and ship from. This feature is especially nice when it comes to buying in relatives and acquaintances holiday or birthday related gifts. Now, doing things for others is great and all, but you have a busy life and you need to worry about your own needs. You're stumped at work and don't have time to cook. At the same time, you want to eat balanced healthy meals, not just snacks. Well, lucky for you, you can order just that at Japanese convenience stores. Search for what you want online and order the food for when you need it most. Japan is notorious for its brutal work culture, but at least convenience stores are there for you when you need them. They always have your back, literally. As you can also buy a full set of clothes, from shirts and pants to underwear. And given how cheap they are, you might as well save some luggage space on your business trip and pick up some clothes along the way. And with that extra space, you can pick up a book while you're at it. Because unlike American convenience stores, which just tend to have launchy and boring magazines, which Japan has as well, Japanese convenience stores also carry popular books and manga. Whereas in America, you can uh, fill up gas, or like, I guess the air in your tires, maybe buy some wood. And most importantly, go to the bathroom. Can't forget that. This is because there's a key difference between convenience stores in America versus Japan. Japanese convenience stores are convenient for people, whereas American convenience stores are convenient for cars. Despite America and Japan having a similar amount of convenience stores per capita, with 4.43 in America versus 4.53 in Japan, the density of convenience stores in Japan is almost an order of magnitude larger, with a staggering 39.01 convenience stores per 100 square miles versus 4.24 in America. Whereas in Japan, convenience stores are a quick walk away and cover all your basic needs, in America they are almost an afterthought to the gas stations that accompany them. But that conversation is for another day. Do you like convenience stores? How often do you go to them? And most importantly, if you are into Japanese and or American culture, there's a good chance you're also interested in English and or Japanese, which is why you should check out our English-Japanese podcast called Lazy Fluency, where we discuss many topics surrounding the U.S. and Japan. Links in the description below. Jane.